All right, so Faded Love, here's the beginning. Let's play those pentatonic scales. G. If you're more advanced, keep going. Or play twice as fast like this. Otherwise, let's just play root position here. So D. To G. D. To A. backwards from the top note. G backwards. D backwards. A backwards. D backwards. Double stops to a D double shot. G double stop. double stops on just the D and A string. This is called double stop lane practice. music is suspensions. So that's where you play a note over the chord tone. So like, let me demonstrate it first and I'll explain it. Double stops, it's just you pick a chord tone and you play 
the one the note above it momentarily it creates like kind of a floaty feeling if I did that with just single notes it sound like this to try something like that is play the note above what you see and then resolve it to what it says. That would be playing what's called the nine. So A over G. E over D. B over A. Again, playing the note above what you see written. Back to double stops on the G and D string this time. Thank you. 
want to get into the melody and some harmony to the to the melody in a second, but um, that was just a little warm up going through some of the um, areas of this um, bluegrass country and roots uh, mastery thing here. Let's see if I can pull that up. I'll just point out what we just went over. Okay, so we started with pentatonic scales. And that's what we did in the left column here. In the middle column, we did lane practice. That's where we're trying to look for the double stops on, on different areas of our instrument. So we were focusing on the, uh, uh, you know, the G and D string, then the D and the A string, and the A and the E string. And if at any time you felt like, oh, when I got to the A chord, I didn't know how to make a chord on the G and D string, right? That would lead you to go to here and figure out how to play an A chord on the, the G and the D string. So that was, that would be, you could play it that way or this way. You have three options, basically. By the way, I haven't mentioned this in the class, but I've added um, hyperlinks to this document. So now if you want to uh, learn what each of these are, it'll take you either to um, some sort of resource that I have, um, or it might be a video. Like this is a video here, instructional video. Cool. So once you once you play, yeah. so I, I'm gonna you know this ev document will evolve. It's gonna have even more. Eventually, I want this to, for example, not just go to a uh, a PDF, but go to a bunch of different things. But that requires a little bit more. It requires having like a web page for each of these links. So like, or the web page would have everything included in it, and that is down the road. I think that'll be a wintertime project, but right now this is a good, great next next uh, step if you're looking to kind of organize your thoughts around this. So.